What's up everyone? I recently got a very nice comment asking me to do a guide maybe on how to play the early game, the middle game and the late game, so uh, I decided to oblige and uh, for everyone that uh, really needs the help, I'm glad to offer it to you. This video is uh, to, to show how I usually play, I'm going to be showcasing, showcasing sorry, uh, maybe two or three runs, we'll see how long the video is. But uh, before we start I just wanted to show you that uh, I'm not really the, the best player and uh, even if you are the best player you are not going to, to have a 100% win rate, it's so long work dependent. But uh, as you can see here I'm, <laughs> I'm mostly going for jack builds so uh, don't ask me for the, for the best plays, I just do whatever I feel like at the moment. But anyway, let's hop into a run and I'll start explaining what I usually do. So in the early game I like to have uh, mosquitoes and ants on my team, also a duck maybe if I find one. No, but another ant which is uh, really nice. Otter is kind of anti-synergistic with ant because you want to peel ant eventually and uh, therefore you don't want the otter to buff it. But uh, I'm going to freeze it here hoping that I find uh, maybe two more uh, units that I would like to uh, to buff eventually and uh, then I can combine the ants and uh, hope to uh, put otter in and uh, the buff not to land on ant. So I think this first round should be at least a draw, let's see what happens. Uh, summon key which is kinda scary, this team doesn't really want to, <laughs> to go up against that and uh, we lose. Kind of unfortunate with both the ant buffs I got and the uh, and the uh, snipe he got from mosquito but that happens sometimes so i have double otter here which is very nice and what i usually like to do is uh, i'll uh, buy the fish because uh, i would uh, i would usually buy the third unit that is here whatever it is and then to reduce the chances of me hitting the otter i'll combine here and then i'll buy the otter and hope that it doesn't land on end it landed on the fish which is mediocre, you wanted it to land on the uh, mosquito but at least it didn't land on the ant. And to minimize my chances of the second otter hit landing on uh, the ant I would just buy it separately and not combine it straight away. And to get the buff on the uh, mosquito this time which uh, still isn't very good because uh, uh, you want uh, both the buffs to land on the same unit because you want to build a big unit. But uh, that, this isn't a bad team by any means, so I'll just roll one my, more time, and uh, getting the third daughter, which means I level up next turn, and I'll combine them here because 2-3 uh, uh, I feel, li uh, feel like is a bit uh, stronger than 2-1-2s, two, two so let's see what happens this time. I think we have a chance here. Yeah, we, we end up winning. Even if I didn't uh, combine the others, it would have been a win because it didn't come to that. So, oh, we have a very good shop pro here. I'm going to be buying the swarm and hoping that the other buffs land on it. Let's see. We do indeed get a hit and instead of buying the second daughter, I will just buy the meat here because I think it's going to be more helpful for us uh, winning the round here. And I'll put it uh, at the front. Uh, you usually don't want to go up against Flamingo if you have exactly a 2-4, but uh, I can't really control that, so I, I'll just hope for the best here. And throw one more time. Here is a Flamingo for ourselves, I think I'll freeze that because I like fl Flamingos a lot. And uh, we'll see what happens this round. This should be a win, I think. Let's see. Oh, a bit of a scary team actually. I don't think this is going to be a win. Yeah, but it was close. Like, uh, this guy is going for a, an early game boost uh, to his wins, so he's buying tempo units like uh, elephant and uh, sheep, so losing to him is kind of expected, I guess. So, this fish, I, I'm afraid that uh, we weren't able to find any more fish, so I'm going to be selling it. And uh, I'm going to be taking a little uh, thought here 
thinking like uh, which two units I want to buff with this flamingo. I think it's going to end up being the mosquito and the swarm. So I'm going to peel it this way. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm also going to buy the, the otter, hoping that uh, the buffs land on the, the, the mosquito and the swarm as well. Uh, the ant land, I ate one of the buffs, but uh, that's fine. And let's see, we were hoping for a good unit here with our last two rolls. Meanwhile, I'll freeze one. I think it's a good uh, purchase for uh, later, that is, not right now. And uh, these three units aren't really what you want to find, but uh, I guess of the three, I'll take the beaver. Hopefully, it can trade up. And uh, when I sell it, I'll get two more HP on the team, which is always nice. I'll freeze the pill in case I find a, an end next turn, I'll level it and uh, pill it then. Hopefully I get a good tier 4 unit then. And uh, let's see. I don't really have high hopes for this round, but uh, anything's possible. Sadly no, the, the big unit at the front. But uh, we ended up drawing, which I didn't really expect. Let's see what, what's going to happen on this turn. We get a level 2 which I didn't really expect from the mosquito, so let's take it. A squirrel. Uh, squirrel I don't think is really good, but uh, with meat it can be good, so I'll take it I guess. I have the exact amount of gold uh, needed to, to do this play, so I'll do it like this. And uh, unfortunately one of the health buffs landed on the end, which uh, you don't really want to see, but uh, that's not really important. Let's go, and uh, hopefully we win this time, I think this team is strong enough to win. Uh, it's possible, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I think this is going to be a win, yeah? They are very close by 1 HP, but a uh, win is a win. Uh, not really good uh, stuff from the squirrel, but uh, that's okay because uh, you want a squirrel on turn 7 for discounted pairs, so I didn't really have high hopes for it on this turn. A salad? I'd rather roll and uh, hope to find uh, more units of uh, the ones I already have, hoping to level up into a good tier 5 unit. Let's see what we find. A swarm, which is nice. Let's keep it up. A notter, which is also nice, but no level... Uh, level up next turn, that, that is guaranteed at least. Uh, the the bus landed quite nicely though, so I think I won't freeze the pill, although I want it, I'd rather uh, have more chances to find the pair in the, a pair next turn, so let's go and uh, hopefully we win this round as well. Uh, it doesn't look too likely. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's okay. Let's see what we have here, two apples and a garlic, not really good, let's keep rolling to find something good. I could go for a bison, maybe if I find another otter I'll freeze it to keep the option open. Nothing good, nothing good, a pear which is nice. I'll, I think I'll prematurely peel the ant, get the bison and put a pair on it. Hopefully uh, I get another next turn, but if I don't, I have a semi-decent uh, bison to go with it. A mosquito got the buff. Not really the best option. You would have uh, wanted a squirrel or swan to get the hit, but that's fine, I guess. Let's reposition and uh, put the pair like this. And hopefully this is good enough. I have my doubts, but uh, that also happens sometimes. Kind of a weird team, and thankfully I think we are going to win because of it. Yeah. The guy shouldn't really be putting uh, meat on his uh, ox. He would rather, he should rather leave it at the back and have it uh, gain melon by itself, by its own ability. And I'll keep uh, buffing uh, bison here, I'll freeze even the garlics in case I find the otter and uh, this bison starts scaling. We want uh, garlic on it in that case. Kind of unlucky with the rolls, but uh, a turtle, which isn't a bad option, 
But I don't think I have anything I would want to sell in order to get the turtle, so I'll pass it up for now. And no water, sadly. I guess I'll buy <laughs> another bison and hope to get it next turn. Or at least the chocolate. It's kind of looking uh, bleak right now, but uh, what can you do? I won't freeze this garlic, hoping for a, a chocolate next turn. And uh, let's see. Anything's possible, but I once again I don't really have high, high hopes, especially seeing that uh, that uh, hippo at the back. Yeah, he didn't really come to it. I'm at one life, but uh, anything's possible as far as the comeback is concerned. And I really want to buy the other, so I'm going to be greedy because I feel like if I'm not greedy, I'm not going to win. So I'm going to put the chocolate on the bison instead. And let's see what tier 6 unit I get. A fly. A fly is very nice. I think I'll actually replace the uh, the mosquito with it. Or the squirrel, I guess. Which one would I rather keep? They are kind of comparable in stats if you think this meat is going to be a plus 4 attack buff. I think the, the mosquito can go. Fly is very strong. I hope that uh, it by itself keeps me in the game. A pear, which... I like, but I would rather have chocolate for this sota. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. And finally the otter comes. Maybe a little bit too late, but uh, we shall see. A gorilla. If I had some scaling in the team, I would put gorilla in, but uh, I don't currently. Bison is my only form of scaling, so... I'll take this chocolate though. And maybe even this turkey, actually. I can still squirrel next turn, it's outlived its usefulness. And I hope this wins, I think if this wins uh, we have a chance to, to go for the 10 wins. Uh, the backline is looking scary. Uh, it's a draw, okay, a very tight draw. Let's see. Uh, I'd rather have the... Uh, the fly leveled up uh, rather than the turkey because the fly gives a uh, plus 4 plus 4 like uh, it's going to summon uh, a 4-4 four, four more statted uh, zombie fly and uh, if I would uh, buff the the turkey to level 2 it on, would only give plus 3 plus 3 so it's not really optimal to go for the turkey <laughs> although I would have gotten the, <laughs> the level 3 I guess Hoping for a chocolate here. Ah, no chocolate. Uh, what could I do then? I could maybe sell the swan and go for another turkey. Which I think is more most optimal. Kind of sad, but uh, you have to do what you have to do. And still no chocolate. I don't think this run is going to win, but I think it was uh, informative at the very least. Uh, this team is looking quite nice though. Yeah, very nice. Actually, what just happened? Let me take a second. Wasn't one of the flies that spawned a 7-7? No, it was a 10-10. Okay, my bad. I thought it was a 7-7 and I got confused. Okay, let's see what we are going to do now. A fly level up. Very nice. Ah, uh, into a mammoth. Mammoth could be good with the two turkey buffs, but I don't think I, there's really something I would want to sell. A scorpion maybe to cheese the opponent. I'll keep that in mind. I think uh, a melon on the bison would help more than a, than a scorpion on the team, so I'll do that. I'll freeze this and hope for another turkey or chocolate. Uh, mammoth pill, I guess. Yeah, it's a 2-2 buff to the, to the entire team. And the zombie fly would spawn at the end, so I'll uh, make my gold back. Kind of. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully I win. Ah, oh, it's looking good actually. The fly kind of died, but uh, <laughs> that doesn't really matter. We won anyway. Uh, now I'll do this and get the mammoth online. Pillet, get the zombie fly at level 2, which means when I sell it, I'll get uh, 
uh, two gold back. Oh, a very nice chocolate here. And because the oh and the leopard, I think this is very nice actually. Yeah, I'll sell this. I'll buy this. Plus six, plus six from the turkey. Should I put it here? I think this is fine. Maybe do it like uh, this. No, it, the the fly has to be. These two have to be at the back. Sadly, uh, I'm a bit susceptible to snipes, but this has to be done because otherwise I wouldn't really get the three buffed uh, fly procs this way. So I roll one more time. Nothing good, and uh, I hope for the best here. Let's see what happens. This is kind of a, a mixture of a summon team and the <laughs> and the bison team, which is kind of funny. But uh, hey, it works out. My sixth win. And uh, let's see what we want to do now. I think uh, chocolate here is nice, and the melon is also nice. And hopefully, we find another chocolate or, or a leopard with this roll. Nothing of the sort, but that's okay. Would a 1 1 or a pepper be that crucial for our team? I don't think so, so I think I can roll three times and be okay with that. A chocolate, so leopard next turn will be even stronger. And a monkey, which I would usually take, but uh, this otter is still needed for the a bison buff, so I can't really sell it. Hoping for the best. Let's see what happens here. Uh, I don't think it's looking that good. Oh, actually, it might. It might look good. Let's see. Yeah, at the, at the very end, the, the third fly <laughs> saved us. And that's seven wins already. Uh, let's see. The, the leopard here at level two will be quite significant as an upgrade. Uh, another level of leopard. I'll keep that in mind. I don't really want bison anymore because at level 3 it isn't really as useful, so I'll keep rolling. And another melon. Which would I rather melon, the fly or the turkey? I think the fly is better to melon because uh, crocodile snipes the back and uh, it also has the lowest HP of the team, so dolphin would snipe it as well. And it's good to have extra protection. So I'll buy it and hope to find uh, more leopards and more chocolate. Um, not really, but that's fine. Let's go. Uh, this might be the end of me, let's see. Actually, no, I, I underestimate the fly spawns every time. I end up winning this round as well. Eight wins. Okay, let's go. Pizza would be good, but I'd rather have equipment, but pizza is so good. I'll just buy it, hope that it lands on Leopard. It doesn't, kinda sad. <sighs> Do I buy the pair though? I don't think so, I'd rather look for equipment. Melons on both of these would be quite nice, or steak for that matter. Uh, nothing good. A salad maybe? Nah, nah, salad isn't good enough at this point in the game. A mushroom? A mushroom on what? I could do a mushroom on the uh, on the otter, I guess. It would spawn back as a 7-7 seven seven from the turkey buffs. Pfft, I'd rather have <laughs> something else on it, actually. Let's look further. Another mushroom. Uh, and a pair. I think I'll buy a pair. This now does uh, 10 damage twice due to its ability. And we hope that this is good enough to win. Turn 15 is getting a bit scary, but uh, the, the team is going strong for now. Ah, very scary. The fly is gone. Ah, so close. But it had 8 wins and I don't think the, the mid game was the problem. I think it was more so the luck of finding Kotar quite late. But yeah. Should I do one more run? I think I'll do my one more and it's already at 20 minutes into the video, but uh, I'll do one more. This is the kind of start you want to see. Like, uh, I'll do this. The, the other buff is uh, very strong on a unit with more health actually, so I'd rather buff the duck than the uh, mosquito. And I'm going to buy this now. Another duck and an end. We have a good setup for uh, turns 1 and 2. 
This should be a win unless I go up against horse cheese, let's see. Kinda cheesy, but we get a good snipe and it ended up in a draw. Kind of unfortunate because <laughs> I kind of wanted it to be a win. And two ducks, so we have a level up ready for turn 3. I'll do it like this. I want the ant online. Like this. Uh, three units I already have. Uh, I think of the three I'll go for uh, this and maybe the ant. I don't really want mosquitoes since it received no bugs. Sure, I'll go for the ant. And uh, let's go. This should win once again, but anything can happen. Horse cheese, but we managed to snipe out one of the horses, and it ended up being a win because of that. Let's do this level up. A puffer fish. That could be quite nice with the two health, especially from duck. Let's do it. Sell this at 3-7. Hopefully Otter hits it as well with its buff. No, it hit the mosquito. But we now have this and I'll even buff it with an apple. And hopefully this is good enough to win. I think this is a good foundation for a team. Very lucky, very lucky. Uh, a draw. That I shouldn't have uh, won that so... He, he was going for a tempo team, so uh, I'm happy I got to draw against him. I think I have more leverage than him for the future. And here I do the classic uh, swan meat bone strategy. And uh, this is good enough, I think. Let's take a look here. Kind of unfortunate. Very unfortunate, actually. But it ended up being a win anyway. I guess the backline otter being so buffed is, uh, is a big plus. Here I'm going to look for pills because both ant and flamingo will need them. Uh, let's see, I think this is fine. Take this as well. And hopefully find a garlic here. A garlic. Yes, sweet. So we have here this team, we hope that uh, with these two units at the front uh, we take out their big unit and these two pufferfish can uh, do the cleanup. Let's take a look if that's what happens. A summon team which isn't bad considering I have garlic. Quite nice, quite nice. Winning by 1 HP. <laughs> I guess I'm the cheeser now. <laughs> Uh, I'll freeze this pill for the end, hopefully I find it soon. Uh, giraffe, giraffe is very good, I'll do this and this to buff the uh, blowfish even further. And here is the ant which I'll keep for uh, turn 7, hopefully I find a monkey or a turkey or a crocodile. Anything at tier 5 is good if you get it early. And another uh, puffer fish, so I hope to get uh, two good level ups next turn. Let's go. Ah, this isn't really looking good. <laughs> that unit was a bit too, too strong for my team. But it was close. You can see here. Only two units remain on the enemy. So let's see what we get here. A crocodile, very nice. That's what definitely going on the team. A very good hit. Let's buff it even further. And a Rhino. Rhino usually not good, but it has good stats for this point in the game. I'll do this, I think. Put this behind in case there's a deer. I don't want it to die for free if it was in the second position. I'd rather the chili hit this puffer fish and uh, they get sniped for, uh, for damage. And uh, let's roll one more time. Uh, could go for parrot actually with the crocodile on the team. But I would have, I would want to have uh, Otter leveled up first, and then I can sell it for the parrot. Uh, this uh, <laughs> this uh, hippo is kind of scary, but we managed to snipe it, uh, snipe it twice, so it works out. Uh, let's see what we want to do. 
I think this is a little too good to pass up. I'll do it uh, right now. Like do this and maybe like this and a parrot level which I'll keep keep frozen. Hopefully I find another parrot with these two rolls. No but two pairs which is also nice. And I should be winning this with two snipes and uh, such a big unit at the front. I think this is uh, definitely winnable. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. They got destroyed. Giraffe is next on the chopping block maybe. Actually, I think I'll do this and s maybe sell. Yeah, sell Giraffe, do this. And you have to buff this uh, parrot because uh, the order of operations is uh, whichever has the highest attack uh, triggers its effect first. So we want this parrot to copy the effect of the crocodile first and then this parrot can copy the effect of uh, the other parrot. Otherwise it wouldn't work. So we, we roll and throw with hope to find chocolate and we indeed do. And a monkey as well. We'll be combining these parrots next turn and giving them chocolate so we'll have space for monkey. And then this, sh this should be another win. These two, three snipes uh, should be very strong. Taking out any summon team. This isn't really a summon team but uh, I'm big enough to be able to take it anyway. Oh and another chocolate. This is going so well. I'm going to combine here. A snake. I can go for a snake, sure. Uh, I'll sell the other, uh, the uh, swan though, because uh, its stats are not really helping the team anymore. I'd rather have this monkey on the team instead. And uh, which should I give the chocolate to? I think I should give it to the snake actually. Yeah, I'll try that. Because I already have three snipes here, I don't really need a fort from the level up of the crocodile. So I think a snake would be very beneficial instead. Yeah, this worked out perfectly. Their team got deleted. What now? What now? I think I would rather have a melon at this point on this uh, blowfish so that it can for sure survive, survive at least one hit. But no melon so far, so I'll do this instead. And uh, very thankfully, the buff lands on the blowfish. So it most likely survives at least two hits, which means at least uh, 20 damage coming from the <laughs> the snake. And it survived three hits. Very nice that uh, these summon teams get deleted so quickly. Ah, very very lucky shot though, I think. Going for this, now I have four snipes on the team. And steak would be more beneficial than chocolate, so I'll do this and freeze the chocolate. Hope to get, uh, to get uh, another snake with this roll. Not really, but what can you do? I'll freeze the cow just in case, it's better buffs than the monkey. And this should be winning honestly. This is so strong. A team full of snipers. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. We are at 9 wins already. I can even uh, say like uh, do this, get the cow and hope to get a, a cheesy unit at the front or a, maybe a skunk or a scorpion. Anything of the sort would be good. This chocolate is nice. I could go for a turtle actually but uh, I'd rather get the level, to st uh, level 3 snake for the memes. I'll keep one turtle though in case I lose. Yeah, I get the pill, very nice. And the double skunk for next turn. I'm trying to close this game out because this isn't really going to the late game, this isn't good enough. Let's see. Yeah, this is going to be a win for sure. Very strong. And yeah, this is usually what I do if I want to win. The video ended up being uh, 30 minutes long, but I hope it was helpful for at least uh, some of you. And uh, if you like it, please let me know and I'll try to do more of this if I can. Thank you for watching, like, sub, do all the generic stuff and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.